Antique barber chairs. Who doesn't love them? They're beautiful. Many years ago, I put out a video that I couldn't fix the break on my antique barber chair. Somebody reached out to me and said, this is what I need. This is what's called a key for your break. The main cause of a chair not having the ability to break is that somebody moved the chair incorrectly at some time and the key fell out of the break. So first things first, if you're ever going to move a barber chair and you need to disassemble it, do not take the cylinder out of the base. Detach the chair from the cylinder on top of the base. Patrick moved this chair incorrectly by taking the cylinder out of the base and lost the key in the snow. Luckily he knew me because I told him, get a metal detector and go back up there and find it. If you have a hard time finding the slot where the key should go for the break, you can pull the whole cylinder out of the chair. But if you have two people, one person can hold the inner cylinder out of the base while the other one replaces the key. When you put the key into the cylinder, you want to make sure that the angled side is going in towards the chair and the flat side is on the outside. Also make sure that the wide end is on top and the narrow end is on the bottom. Once the brake is back into the cylinder, lower the base into the cylinder by pushing the lever down as you would when you're lowering the chair. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to get the cylinder back into the base, so you can put the chair back on to add weight. Either way you have to put the chair back on, but the brake should work now. Now in this particular instance it was very difficult to get the chair down because Patrick bought some new what he thought was hydraulic oil but it was actually a supplement for hydraulic oil that fixes seals and leaks in hydraulics so make sure you get the right type of product you don't even necessarily have to put new hydraulic oil in there the chair probably worked before fine except for the braking mechanism so don't add any more oil than what you need but my Patrick needed to put in whatever he wanted to put in and it took us 40 minutes to get the chair down and then he figured out later that he put the wrong stuff in went back and had to empty the chair base out again it was a whole thing 